Hey guys, I'm Chris from Human Torque Training. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of some trigger points in your rotator cuffs, specifically your external rotators, um, infraspinatus and teres minor. Yep. Common if these muscles are always overstretched, if you, if you get trigger points in them, you'll, you'll get pain in the front of your shoulders here, so, so they're important to hit. So first thing you've got to do is find the spot. So if you put, put your hand on your opposite shoulder, you'll feel right here it's this is this is on the back of your shoulder blade so you'll feel this kind of like a triangle here you'll feel you'll feel the bone okay so it's just on there also if you feel over the top here you'll feel like a long bone across here it's basically just under there okay now you can you can massage this with your fingers but i found for a lot of people it's it can often the muscle can be that tough that you need you need to put a bit more pressure on it to 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 release it so Using a little cross ball for this, um, you use any kind of small ball, it'd need it'd be something pretty hard though, like a tennis ball will be far too soft to do this. So, find the spot, so there it is, and then basically put the ball up against the up against a wall, and you're basically just going to roll around slowly. And like I said, if you do have trigger points in this spot, you'll... Um, by pre by pressing on it, you might it might even feel like a needle is is poking into the front of your shoulder. So you just want to take take as much pressure as you can. Really, really, you try to break up all those tissues. No, normally, normally when we're using a ball to, it's it's normally we're trying to turn off a, a muscle that's really dominant, so that other muscles that we want to work to work can fire up. But in this case, it External rotation is, is more the time we're trying to strengthen with everybody, but if you do have trigger points in it in the muscle, it'll stop the muscle from from functioning from functioning properly. So you do need to really really get into a break up all those tissues and then most importantly after you've done this is to do your external rotation exercises like with it with an elastic band. It's one of the reasons why club club swinging exercises are so good, just pretty much most of the exercises are all training external rotation. Now, just one more thing, when, when you're in this spot, rolling around, if you, find a, if you find a sore spot, basically do that internal rotation, external rotation with your shoulder, so kind of sit on that sore spot and then externally rotate, internally rotate. So almost kind of like an active release. And then do the same thing, find that spot with your arm overhead like this. And do the same thing, so externally rotate, internally rotate. And once you strengthen up this external rotation, it'll really help with your club swinging, like being able to keep your, keep your elbow in for, for arm casts and swipes, mills, it'll help all of that. So yeah, give it a try if it is, if it is a... If it is an issue that you do have trigger points there, it'll really help you.